Well, good evening, Rusty Furman, SAS TV. There's been a bit of a delay, obviously, over two weeks. Not on purpose, but what I started out as a fun thing ages ago turned into something that's got a lot of followers. The lockdown was a lockdown, started to come out slightly, and arguably going back into the lockdown. Who knows? Who cares? But I'm going to carry on. If you remember the early days, I started this off as some fun, which was accepted and loved by a lot of people. However, there were one or two causes for concern. Some of them thought the sound quality wasn't that good. Um, some of them not many, many, but the picture quality. So what I've done is I've sat back, I've ordered stuff. You can see I've got a microphone now. It's not Bluetooth, okay? It's um, It has a receiver and a transmitter. And the fact is that it sounds better. The backdrop I've had to wait for, I've had two different ones, both different colors from what I asked for. So I thought, I just sit back and go with the flow. Not everybody's got the same workforce they had. Not everything actually arrives on time. So I could have gone along with it and just bodged it. But I thought for the people, you know, nearly 13,000 um, followers and subscribers on this channel alone, deserve better. And I could present it better than the way it was before so that gives me some comfort because there is a chance it may go on a bit longer so the backdrop the sound system the video is still the same but i have a lighting system that works with the backdrop which helps to make sure that it isn't mickey mouse so I'd like your thoughts on this stuff. That's why I haven't gone ahead and done a full um, video as you ex uh, expect, sorry. But here we go. Light, sound, quality, and whatever your thoughts are, well received by me. And that's why it's taken a bit of time. I could have spoke to you every day about it. But actually, you just say, just burbling on. I'm as quick as the people supply the kit and equipment. Now we've got it together. So today will be this trial. From tomorrow onwards, we'll be getting back into it. And a promotional. I've got the new prints um, of the Falkland Islands, everything ready to show. But I'm quite happy to wait until I got it right and I think in my opinion I'm almost there always glad to touch up and stuff um, if it's valuable comments if not I just bin them so it's my choice but tonight in particular um, you know for the I'm not going to do a promotional but tonight there is an auction on the page our page which is the Facebook page, SAS Special Air Service, Military Area Collectors and Facts page. On there, we have just auctioned off John McAleese G10 Shock watch, finished a couple of days ago. That goes towards the memorial for John McAleese. Those who don't know, I was his best mate. So I threw in um, a fair Ben and Sykes knife and dagger, gold and silver in colour. That's on there for the last two days. It finishes tonight. It's already up to something like twelve, fourteen hundred pounds. If anybody is interested in that, get yourself onto the page I've just mentioned and take a look 
the proceeds go directly to the John McAleese Memorial Fund. And for those who don't know, I will be doing a separate video on what that is. It's called Bring Him Home. That's taking him back to Lauriston, up near Falkirk, where he was born. And a great friend of mine. So, as I say, this is just a take a look. The promotion will be tomorrow. You'll see a great print I have now of a painting I had commissioned of when I was in the Falkland Islands. And let's be honest, those who've got the resolution have a chance to get the next one. And that one is called The Surrender. With me in Port Stanley, 14th of June, 1982, the day of the surrender. And it's also a copy of the print and my picture that went on at the very end of the film, six days, you see where it says Rusty Furman retired. I didn't retire. I'm involved in with a, an awful lot of charities, do a lot of charity work. But that's how they decided on the film. That picture is the picture I gave to them in front of the Pakara aircraft on Stanley Airfield, that is the one I've had commissioned as a painting. The same guy who painted um, the original, obviously painting of the resolution. And that will be out shortly, probably tomorrow, I hope. But I tried to get it um, framed over the weekend. And of course, everybody, is understaffed so with the printers they're two people down and they reckon 10 possibly the 12th of august they can get me that to show you in a frame but tomorrow i'm quite happy to show you it in a picture i'll just present it here as i've done a few times with the other one take a look at this one by the way is in A3 and A2 size. So you can take your pick. You might have the one already of the resolution. You may want a smaller one with it from the Falklands. You may want two of the same. The choice is yours, guys. All I've done is step in and try to give you what you want. So have a think about it. Have a look at it tomorrow. Looks good. Painted well, the, the, the picture itself. The prints are great. And I will have all of them in a couple of days time, or a couple of weeks time actually. So I'd love to have your thoughts. And of course, Everything depends on what you want to do. Just sort of bring the badge out, let you see it. Okay, Guns and Roses, Guns and Roses. But if I can get your feedback on it, that would be great. If not, don't worry. I'll turn the badge up the right way and we can move on. But as I say, the promo will be tomorrow. And I'll do my best to give you some idea before I go back into different videos, which I'll do, which will actually be on the SAS and the likes of PTSD. And then I'll probably wander into the lines of charities. Some who do well, some who don't do so well. But hey, I'm like anybody else. 
I'm trying to pass you information. So for tonight, I'll sign off. Please, the thoughts on everything I mentioned earlier, the lighting, the sound quality, the picture quality, and the rest, I'm hoping will fall into place. And thanks for your support. Thanks for being patient. But it was never designed to be a three week break, two and a half week break. But I've waited till the final option of where most of it has come together. It's now down to the likes of me and you guys to make sure that it works and you're happy with it. And you know what? I don't think about the comments I've ever had over what I've done since the lockdown started. I've not tried to be honest, opinionated, but give you the answers that I believe in. However, it doesn't suit all. It's not designed to. But what you will get is what I feel and what I'd like to pass on. So, I can't actually leave really without thanking everybody that's mentioned what Liverpool Football Club have done this year. My lifelong passion has been Liverpool. Outstanding. Absolutely brilliant. Nobody else has done it. Nobody can do it. Unless Liverpool go one step further next year. They've got more trophies this year than a lot of clubs have had in their history of the football. And I won't mention the neighbours or anything. It's, it's a bit unfair. But I've waited 30 years for them to win the league again. There's going to be people looking around the corner at them and going, hmm, what's next? But... Sometimes you have to wait. Eventually, who dares wins?